Alarming images tonight of Lake Mead at the Hoover Dam. It's part of the Colorado River system, the water supply for 40 million Americans. More human remains have been found at Lake Mead as the waters of the drought-stricken reservoir recede even further. The recent events at Lake Mead with its mirror-like surfaces and stunning mountain view have shocked scientists. In 1964, Lake Mead was designated as the first national recreation area to include fishing, water sports, swimming, and more. But compared to the paradise it once was, the reservoir has dropped to historic lows. The Great Lake has now become a focal point in one of America's most serious climate crises, and scientists are shocked by the rapid transformation. But how could this be happening? Join us as we explore what happened to the once thriving lake. Will Lake Mead ever fill up again? Stay with us on Mystery Facts Rewind to find out all the shocking details. The Hoover Dam on the Colorado River created Lake Mead, the biggest reservoir in the United States. The lake, which crosses the Nevada-Arizona border and has a surface area of 247.1 square miles, supplies water to 25 million people in the states of Arizona, California, Nevada, New Mexico, and Utah. But in the past two decades, Lake Mead has lost a significant amount of its water due to prolonged drought conditions and over-extraction of water from the Colorado River. The lake's water level has dropped more than 120 feet, exposing vast areas of shoreline, leaving boats and marinas high and dry. On average, Lake Mead receives 8 million tourists and other visitors per year. But besides humans, there are also animals within and around Lake Mead that are diverse and unique to the region. Ever heard about the Gila Monster or the Razorback Sucker? Will those animals live around or within Lake Mead? Visitors should use caution if they come across a Gila Monster because it is a highly deadly animal. The mountain lion is another fascinating species that lives close to the lake. Mountain lions are majestic big cats, but you should never approach if you see one. Over Lake Mead, you can see the bald eagle, a cherished bird of the Americans. Bald eagles frequently go to Lake Mead throughout the winter to avoid the bitter cold up north. So the drought of Lake Mead has had a significant impact on the lake's water supply, which serves as the primary source of drinking water for millions of people and the animals in the southwest. The low water levels have also affected the generation of hydroelectric power and the recreation industry, causing economic losses for the region. In July 2022, Lake Mead reached its lowest water level since it was constructed in the 1930s at 1,040.8 feet. The climate has become hotter and drier, and the rules haven't changed quickly enough to reverse the trend. Although the legal system is extremely complex, it must be changed immediately before the risk escalates and everything that depends on water from Lake Mead, farms, birds, big cities, in fact, all life in the Southwest is left without it. But how did Lake Mead dry up? Lake Mead has been experiencing low water levels due to a combination of factors, such as drought, increased water demand, and reduced river flow. Climate change, which has caused prolonged periods of drought in the Southwest United States, has also contributed to the decrease in the lake's water level. The lake's water level is directly tied to the flow of the Colorado River and the amount of water that is stored in the lake. Over allocation of water resources and increased demand for water in the surrounding areas, will Lake Mead ever fill up again? Unfortunately, Lake Mead will likely not fill up again in the near future due to the ongoing drought in the western United States and increased water demands from growing populations in the region. However, long-term projections for the lake's water levels will depend on a number of factors, including precipitation patterns, water usage, and environmental policies. The states and the federal government are simultaneously starting a process to develop regulations for the next 20 years of Colorado River management that can help mitigate some of these problems because many of the current policies that govern Colorado River allocations, including the DCP or Drought Contingency Plan, and other shortage sharing guidelines expire in 2026. This condition is particularly challenging to manage for both short-term emergencies and long-term sustainability. So before you leave, don't forget to let us know what you think about this shocking occurrence in the comments below. And if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons for more mysteries and discoveries on Mystery Facts Rewind.